Is summer your favorite time of year? Why, why not? It used to be, but not now, because nowadays it's scorching hot with the global warming, and then no, it's not. I think I, I'd prefer uh, fall, okay, or winter for that matter. What do you do in summer when the weather is very hot? I try not to go out as much as I can, okay? I try to stay at home and I, 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 I take frequent showers, okay? That's it. Do you go on holiday every summer? I wish I could, but money-wise that would be really expensive and I cannot afford that. Uh, no. <laughs> Did you enjoy the summer holidays when you were at school? Uh, yes, yes, I loved the idea of not going to school, okay? I don't know if it was summer holiday or any other kind of holiday. I really liked not going to school, <laughs> okay, which was because it was kind of torture for me to go to school. But and yes, I loved that. Describe a luxury item you would like to own in the future. You should say what item you would like to own, what this item looks like, why you would like to own this item, and explain whether you think you will ever own this item. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I would really like to own a Cuban chain, okay? It's, it's a gold chain, uh, 18 karat gold, it's made of 18 karat gold and uh, it's, it's, it's a symbol of luxury, okay? And many rappers, many musicians, many really high, uh, high profile and rich people uh, have that chain, okay? But I should have a complete makeover, okay? And I, I don't know, for example, I should start wearing jeans, for example, something that I'm not used to, or wearing t-shirts. Uh, I think that would be cool to have, okay? Uh, it's re it looks really nice, okay? The patterns are really intricate and then they are interwoven and then they are made. I, I saw a short documentary, I, I think it was on Business Insider on Instagram page. Uh, like it was, it, they showed us how they were made and then it was really hard and then the crafts people that made them, uh, actually they were not Cuban, okay? This is something funny about that. They are called Cuban cha chain, but they're not from Cuba. Uh, so it is really important the way they are made, okay? And like I said, I would like to own this item because it's cool and classy, okay? <laughs> I would look cooler with that. And I think, no, I don't think I would ever have that because <laughs> I don't think I'm, 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 I'm still ready to undergo that change, to undergo that uh, makeover that I told you about. So, no. <laughs> Thank you. Which expensive items would many young people in your country like to buy? This is generally about gadgets. Um, they would like to have, for example, a PS5 or an, or an Xbox. Uh, they are really expensive in my country. And I don't know, they would like to have smart watches, Apple products that are normally really expensive. They have to pay to the nose for them in my country. Iran, okay, and yeah, they are really luxurious and they are very expensive. How do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ from those that older people want to buy? Um, as I mentioned, okay, um, younger people would 
like to go for gadgets and technology items, okay. But older people, I believe on the other hand, they would prefer to go for something more classic, like a painting, like a piece of art, like, like uh, for example, different decoratives for their homes. Uh, I believe they would go for items like that. Do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves? Definitely for themselves. <laughs> I think that that doesn't stand to reason to buy really expensive luxury items for your friends. Uh, I, mean, I At least I wouldn't do that. And I think uh, they, they would save up their hard-earned money uh, to buy something for themselves, okay? Because because it, it would give them a, a, a sense of achievement, okay? A sense of a sense of progress, maybe, okay? No, not for other people. How difficult is it to become very rich in today's world? Uh, I think the dichotomy, okay, between and the gap between the rich and the poor is is really widened day in day out uh, you know if you have a unique idea and then if you can put it into practice uh, in the world today using the technology uh, you can you can rocket to start them overnight and you can make great money by that okay uh, you can become an overnight uh, success okay and lots of people you might gain a sizable following on social media platforms if it, like i said provided that you do something unique provided that you have something to say okay but on the other hand there are people unfortunately who are not really in charge of their own lives so do not take things seriously and i think cannot make really good money do you agree that money does not necessarily bring happiness? No, of course not. Money is happiness, in my opinion. The more money you have, the happier you are. Uh, why do you wake up in the morning and go to work? Um, I think, I think everything just 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 goes back to money. And then, if you don't have money, you can't go on a trip. If you don't go on a trip, uh, you might get depressed, you know. And then we can go on in a vicious circle. I believe no money is is the definition of happiness. Okay. In what ways might rich people use their money to help the society? I think they can they can help some NGOs or some government funded groups, for example. Okay, uh, not government funded, government maybe oriented. I don't know, whatever uh they can they can they can go out and they can search for them and then they can find the people or the animals in need and they can find the right group something that 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 agrees with their own points of view and i think they can help them easily like i said earlier money is the key to happiness okay no money no honey no happiness okay thank you